Welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before Him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. You are grafted in as a branch to Jesus, the true vine. See yourself beginning to bloom. It is his life expressing itself through you. Let's connect to our source of life now in prayer. Lord God, you are the source of all life and you are the source of my life, the source of all goodness and blessing that flows through me. Open my heart now as I hear your word. May I grasp your truth more fully and live for you more freely. Galatians 5, 22-25 says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Love, joy, peace. What a beautiful list we find in Galatians, the fruit of the Spirit. This fruit is the inevitable result of the Holy Spirit's presence in our lives. Imagine a world where everyone displayed these characteristics. Imagine your local church if every member was gentle, kind and loving. Imagine your own life with a fuller experience of God's love, His joy, His self-control. Now see the vine, the Lord Jesus. His roots go down deep into the soil of the vineyard. You are a branch carefully grafted into the vine, sealing you tight. Instantly, there is a connection. His life begins to bring vitality. In time, the fruit begins to grow. Old bitterness falls away. Love grows in its place. Judgmental attitudes shrivel as kindness begins to blossom. This is his fruit. It comes by drawing your life day by day from him. Have you been trying to produce the fruit of the Spirit in your own strength? Tonight, come simply to connect with the vine. As you rest in Jesus, he will bear his fruit in you. As we turn to prayer, Consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and 
working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, it is impossible to be loving, peaceful and patient in my own strength. I acknowledge my inability to grow your fruit in my own energy. Please, will you pour your Holy Spirit into me in a fresh way tonight? so that my life will burst forth with your fruit. Help me to remain close to you each day and draw continuously from your life. Lord Jesus, my strength and my hope, as I sleep tonight, Help me to simply rest in you, the source of my life. Jesus says in John 15, 4-5, Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself, it must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, when I awake in the morning, I pray that you would remind me to stay close to you. All day tomorrow, as I discover my need of your fruit, help me to continually draw near to you. Amen.